How's it racing fans and welcome to another episode of Trackside, a weekend show proudly brought to you by World Sports Betting. Bet with the best, bet with WSP and as always a leader in the fixed odds betting market and number one in the anti-post betting market, World Sports Betting. Well, last weekend was a big weekend uh, for our sponsor, of course, they did sponsor the World Sports Betting 1900 and unfortunately with the scratching of Bulgarian, it did take a bit of gloss off the race, but nevertheless, uh, that filly, she's a keeper, wow, wow, she just seems to be going uh, along the right way, the way Korea is moving along and she will now possibly be taking a place in this year's Vodacom Durban July so well done uh, to all the connections of the World Sports Betting 1900 winner last weekend at Gravel she's a keeper well over to this weekend and it's another busy weekend uh, when it comes to sponsorship of races around the country for World Sports Betting of course they sponsor the Winter Series and uh, this weekend in Cape Town is uh, the World Sports Betting Storms Play Stakes and of course the World Sports Betting Legal Eagle Stakes. The World Sports Betting sponsoring races around the country and giving back to horse racing. Okay, this weekend show, what we're going to do? Well, I picked out four horses for this weekend and I thought that we'll do two trebles which will obviously be posted on our WSB uh, betting site, uh, that's the betting menu and we'll give you the two trebles uh, at the end of the show but uh, the four horses, let's begin and we're going to start off, I think we'll do this in uh, order of time uh, the way the, uh, the treble runs according to time and the first of our horses will come up at uh, 15.55 at, at 5 to 4 on Saturday at Turfantine and it comes up in race number 7 and the filly's name is Bella Black. She's trained by Paul Matchett. Now, last time out, this filly raced in a progress plate and with a rating of 75, she punched way above her weight. I say way above her weight because in that race was second, uh, was this filly, of course, with a rating of 75. The third place runner was Rapid Flow, a 98. Uh, the fourth place runner was in the dance, she's rated a 103. Uh, then was Frosted Steel, who's rated a 91. And Winter Smoke, who finished sixth in that race, is rated a 108. And of course, the winner, Thumbs Up, was rated a 99. So it was not the right race for this filly. And she ran an absolute blinder. In fact, she was still green in the latter stages of that race when they tried her on with blinkers for the first time. She ducked in sharply uh, over the final 200 meters or so, but still finished a creditable sixth, beaten two lengths by thumbs up. Now the blinkers stay on, and when you look at this field, there are some hard knockers in the race. It's a B division class, and she is slightly under sufferance as well with the rating of 75, but... They've kept the claim uh, four on, but he'll only claim three this time round, Cola Jacobs. So that brings her right into the race now that she's carrying 49 kgs on her back. And all I'm hoping is that she can just repeat her performance last time out and with a featherweight on her back against this type of field. She just needs to repeat her last start and I think she'll be the value in the race. Host number eight, Bella Black, that's at Turpentine race number seven then we move along to race number seven at Kenilworth and that's at 1610 so we're talking 15 minutes later all things being equal and it is the top liner on the day uh, the world sports betting legal eagle stakes of group three over 1800 meters and uh, the winner of the world sports betting Variety Club stakes the 1.2 million Rand purchase number one Warrior reeled off the hat-trick in fine style when winning last time out winning the first leg of that winter series and he's just maturing uh, Into a horse that's getting uh, better and stronger with racing the way he got the job done last time out I was super impressed because he was coming off a, 
we'll call it uh, you know just over two months a layoff he was rested on the 17th of February and just the way he got the job done over 1600 meters uh, it was a solid 400 to finish for him uh, the way he picked them up and this 1800 meter trip will be no problem for him on the evidence of his last start I think this 1800 meter trip is going to suit him much better he's a horse that I feel is destined for bigger and better things to come so he's no doubt the horse to beat and he will be priced up short I think he'll be priced up in the red he'll be a, a strong favorite for guys but he just looks the right horse in this field number one warrior that's race number seven at Kenilworth then we go to uh, race number eight and that's at 1630 so we've got uh, three horses to follow in a space of 35 minutes now this filly her name is good queen bless and she comes up in race number eight at turf and team and she's northern hemisphere bred so she's six months behind uh, the locals here but having said that she just seems to be a promising filly on what she showed on debut now uh, there was confidence in the betting market for her and she got the job done like a true professional she was just sensible throughout the running jumped out set midfield with Gavin Larina moved up at the 400 meter mark and when asked to run that was it it was race over and uh, she won uh, in a matter of ease she just won comfortably that day and uh, that form line now this is where we are with that form line because uh, that just swayed me in this Phillies corner when I pulled out that form line because she beat Veranova who was second that won next time out third in that race was Dragon Queen she won next time out as well so that form line looking solid and uh, while she is uh, in uh, open company here uh, what's it a merit traded 80 a C division class she does receive a sex allowance so she goes to post at 57 and a half on her back and this 1400 meter trip I have no doubt she's going to relish the extra distance and on what she's shown to date after watching her debut win all I did was say follow 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 in the black book and here she is again uh, and we're hoping that she can uh, follow up from where she left off last time out and make it two from two for trainer Mike DeCock and jockey Kevin Larina. So we've touched on three horses thus far. At the top of the show I mentioned four horses and it's two trebles. Well the fourth horse comes up at Scottsville on Sunday. Now uh, we're going in race number one and if we're running in uh, both those trebles well it's going to be quick and fast. We're going to bank the money in race number one and this is a work riders traditional graduation over 1200 meters and a clear standout on form forget about it being a work riders race this is a clear standout on form number nine captain tatters now when you look at uh, what he's racing against and the fact that he's clear in the best way to call him and rated the 105 in fact if i think about one time winners amongst the older horses i mean that's a four year old and older I'm no doubt that he must be one of the highest rated one-time winners in the country at a 105 and uh, his form lines well they tell it all his last start he did travel to Tomeja and uh, he was a short head second uh, that day unlucky but uh, you know no disrespect to the winner pleased to meet you for the Amre Nelia that won a really good race uh, but this horse was uh, a close-up second the run that catches the eye was his penultimate start and that was in the group two diadem stakes uh, where he finished spot two lengths behind his stable companion who's Rio Karari now Rio Karari needs no introduction uh, he's just turning out to be a classy sprinter for Justin Snape his next start after the diamond traveled to Ha Teng and won the, the group one computer form sprint also in that race, second was Hello Winter, Hello the filly for Adam Marcus. She won a next start. And third in that race was a certain cartel captain who back home went to Scottsville and beat a quality field of sprinters. So Captain Tatters on the form he represents against the opposition he takes on, best weighted. The form lines are clear to see. This horse can be. Uh, in a sprint feature anywhere in the country and he wouldn't be out of place and he finds himself in a conditional graduation work riders race so 
I think it's a plum opportunity for work rider Madalane to get the job done for Justin Snade. Okay, that's our four horses. And let's recap on the two trebles. Well, this is the way I've played it. Treble one will be Warrior Kenilworth onto Bella Black Turfantine onto Captain Tatters at Scottsville. And then treble two will be Warrior Kenilworth onto Good Queen Bess Turfantine and Captain Tatters at Scottsville. Okay, that's going to be up on the betting menu. And as always, you're entitled to shop around. You deserve the best. And I guarantee you that you're not going to get better odds about this trackside treble. And if you do, for some reason, if you do, pick up the phone, speak to the operator, and we'll better or we'll match or better the price that you've been offered. But I guarantee you're not going to get better, better odds anywhere on any betting uh, menu, uh, fixed odds betting menu, that is uh, with regards to the trackside treble that we've given to, and that's two of them. And that's a wrap. Well, what else is happening? Well, we're all leading up now to this year's Vodacom Durban July. Some exciting times ahead. And no doubt there'll be many, many specials uh, brought to you by World Sports Betting. Many promotions as well. And uh, we're looking forward to the Vodacom Durban July. And all that's up on uh, the World Sports Betting Fixed Odds Betting menu. Their prices are up there. And you can shop around because you're entitled to, as I always mention. But... Uh, I've had a look at the betting on uh, the uh, Vodacom Durban July and it is competitively priced and I think that's a wrap of this weekend show. I wish you all the best. I will hope you have a fantastic weekend punting, of course, local racing. It's Kenilworth and Turfan team on Saturday and then a standalone meeting on Sunday at Scottsville. And again, a big weekend for World Sports Betting sponsoring. Uh, the legal eagle stakes and the storm sleigh stakes down in Cape Town, Kenilworth. And what's left for me to say, well, as always, on behalf of World Sports Betting, thanks to all the punters, but more importantly, and more especially, you, the valued customer. Until next week, you take care. Salani Gashley.